Well, the prosecution resting its case today on day five of the Theodore Edgecombe trial, but as Fox 6's Bill Miston now explains, we now know when Edgecombe should be able to take the stand to plead self-defense. Bill? Good evening, Mary. Edgecombe now expected to take the stand in his own defense tomorrow morning. Part of the defense's case has tried to poke holes in the actions of police, the investigation, and the actions of a distraught wife who witnessed her husband getting shot and killed. Does that also include observing cameras? Yes. Beginning its case, the defense trying to imply police didn't do enough in the shooting investigation. From the way it looked, she was like in distress or something was going on. The defense also calling a woman who stopped at the scene, saying Clearman's wife's demeanor was odd, that she was on the phone, but asked her to call 911. But on cross, the woman admitting Clearman's wife was upset. That night, when you're talking to the officers, fresh in your memory, fresh as to what happened, you're telling the officer, that the reason you called 911 was because she was too upset and she asked you to call 911 for her. That is correct. Called by the defense, police officer Patrick Tivnan, who was on the scene that evening, said under cross by the state, he quickly knew that police should be looking for a very specific, unique bicycle. You should be looking for a guy with a, what kind of bike? GMC Denali. Did you recognize the person that was depicted in those stills? Yes. Who was it? Theodore Edgecombe. That bicycle coming up as the state wrapped up its case. Thomas Bellastri, who lived upstairs from Edgecombe at the time, found it suspicious the bicycle Edgecombe used to get around found by police hidden in the basement. It was normally stored in the front hallway. A DNA analyst with the state crime lab said samples taken from the bicycle strongly supported Edgecombe being the source, but couldn't say for certainty. On cross, the defense noting that not everything at the crime scene tested for DNA or entered into evidence. You also never got swabs from a murder weapon, did you? I don't think so. Edgecombe arrested months after the shooting in Kentucky after providing police with a fake name during a traffic stop. The weapon in the shooting was never recovered. Now the defense planning on calling four or five more witnesses, one of those being Edgecombe and another being a witness who testified on behalf of the Kyle Rittenhouse defense team in that trial. The state anticipating to call several witnesses in rebuttal. Uh, the plan for testimony and closing arguments to wrap up tomorrow, but the judge also hopeful that the case will also be given to the jury tomorrow as well. Reporting live at the Milwaukee County Courthouse Complex, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. All right, Bill, thank you.